level one will come back. So this is how to use a Flock 87 multimeter. So part three, this is part three, continuation of our previous video. So this is for beginners. So how to test for diode test and then transistor test. So let's start. Our, let's calibrate our meter here. At this range. So as we can see the schematic symbol diode. So in this diode test also this is a transistor test. Okay, let's start. So as we can see we have we have a diode here, 1 in 5408, so which is the rectifier diode. So this is rectifier, so let's start the test. So the red probe in the anode, this side is the anode. And then the black probe is the, in the cathode. This is a white strip here. This is the cathode. So let's try it. Let's start. So the reading is a 0.519. And then let's inverse. So there should be no reading if we inverse. It means this is a good uh, diode. Let's inverse. Black probe in the anode and then red probe to the cathode. So, okay, uh, there's no reading, so it means this is the good diode. Next, transistor. Let's test the transistor we have here, as we can see. Um, let's see. Uh, 4370A, so which is a power transistor diode. So, this is belong also the bipolar trans junction transistor bgt transistor so because the, ele the electrode is base emitter and collector so let's check so so just it's depend how we test the how to identify the base so let's put the so in this uh, transistor as we can see Pin 1 is base, pin 2 is a uh, collector, and pin 3 is uh, emitter. So let's check. So this is the base, pin 1. I program to inverse. We put the block probe in the base. So no reading. So red probe in the base. So the this pin, second pin two is a collector, and the pin three is emitter. Okay. So this is the uh, diode and transistor test. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.